Vance, what time would you like to eat dinner tonight? Don't bother me. I'm trying to concentrate. What for? I thought you programmed Andy to lose. You can never trust a worn-out robot. Maybe I better check him. Yeah. His control's on loose. He's still a loser. I bought some steaks for dinner tonight. They were on sale. $58 a pound. I remember when it was $32 a pound. Uh-oh. Shall we eat on the terrace? I think it's programmed for sun. No, no, not now, Elaine. Well, what do you think about eating at 6 o'clock? I thought we'd eat at 6. Is that okay he's with you? He's up to something. Well, he's, Vance. He's going to beat me again. I know it. Is 6 o'clock okay with you? Well, not now. Let the computer figure it out. <laughs> you had me scared there for a minute. Check. I knew it. He's broken again. He just beat me. You're not going to like this either. What is it? The computer says that we're going to eat inside at 4.30 and it's fish balls and it's going to rain. Oh. Robots that don't work, computers that fall apart. If you think things were complicated in 1977, just stick around. Stick around. No traffic, no pollution, it's a new society. new society. Food may be expensive, but the air is fit to breathe. Stick around, stick around. There's a whole lot of joy to be found. Stick around. Excuse me. What do you think you're doing? I'm charging myself. <laughs> you're always charging yourself. But I can't help it. You make me work so hard this morning, so I'm tired. I'm very tired. You're, you're also very expensive. Did you see my power bill last month? Oh. I, I told you never to do that. I would pull my own plug. Uh, no, I'd like to pull your plug sometime, for good. Here, now, f now finish up there. And, and wrap it nicely, it's a gift. He'll have it wrapped in a second. <laughs> you know what I would like is a planter. Something different, though. Oh, oh, I've got just the thing for you. You're going to love it. It was made in 1976, Bicentennial model. In mint condition. <laughs> <laughs> it's marvelous. Here's your toaster. <laughs> That's uh, very nice, Sandy. Uh, do you think you could stop back later? I'll wrap this myself. All right, I have some other shopping to do anyway. Uh -huh. Thank you. <laughs> How could you do this? Oh, I'll be right with you. But it's not my fault. Why do we have to wrap it like they did in the old days? Because I want it that way. I don't like vacuum packs. <laughs> Is something wrong with you? I can't stand this paper. It keeps ripping and tearing. I do the best I can, but I get blamed for... You're having a breakdown, aren't you? No, no, I'm not. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll see about that. You've been acting funny all morning. Uh, I thought I smelled you burning before. I wish, I wish you would not do this in front of people. Uh, if you're broken again... Uh, I'm not broken. All right, all right. 
Here, here, go. Finish polishing the ladder. Interesting, huh? It's uh, one of those old fluorescent lamps from the 60s. It's a heater. It's a lamp. Are you, are you trying to tell me my business? Are you trying to tell me my life? I was born in 59. They froze me in 86. <laughs> oh, are, are you a cryogenic? What of it? Oh, no, no. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I, uh, hey, I got nothing against cryogenics. My neighbor's a cryogenic. Wonderful guy. Yeah, I'll bet some of your best friends are cryogenics. <laughs> Look, I've only been thawed out a few months. I've had nothing but trouble. Oh, well, listen, you're not going to have any trouble here. You say this is a heater? Well, it's a heater. <laughs> You got a nice place here. Yeah. It Brings back memories. Yeah, yeah. I kind of go for the old days. You know, the old things. I got something you'll get a kick out of. Oh, yeah? Oh, <laughs> wow. That, that's beautiful. C -c Can I see it? Sure. <laughs> that's the old 38. Yeah. You know anything about him? Oh, yeah. Yeah, police specials. <laughs> <laughs> That's, uh, well, they were made in 1938. Yeah, it, it means 38 caliber. That's, uh, that's very nice. Nothing like an old-fashioned gun. <laughs> Nothing like an old-fashioned sticker. <laughs> what? Get your hands up. <laughs> wait, 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 hold it. Andy! Where's some money? Now, listen, for your own good, I, I'm warning you. Andy here is a robot. He, he, he's incredibly strong. You, you can't even hurt him. He's bulletproof. Nine, nine. <laughs> No, I'm warning you. I'm warning you, mister. He's quick. He's, he's fast. He's brutal. He'll be on you in a second. Take him, Andy. But take him where? Do something. Right. Uh, excuse me. Sure. Andy, Andy, what, what, what are you doing? Here's the money, mister. Is there any more? No. But what about the money in the back, man? Excuse me. Sure. <laughs> Elaine, did you hear me? The guy says tie him up, so he ties me up. He can't wrap a gift, but me, he ties up. Uh oh, he's bad, isn't he? I knew it. I knew it. Elaine, are you listening to me? Andy tied me up. He gave away our money. You know, Vance, I think it's a cracked transistor. Oh, I knew that. I knew he was broken. He's always broken. Why are you sick all the time? Now, don't start that again. I can fix it myself. It's just a little laser mend. Oh, Elaine, you're always lasering him. <laughs> you had to laser him on Christmas. You, you had to laser him on our vacation. You never laser me. <laughs> Poor Andy. He used to be so good. Well, I know, I know. But that was when your folks first bought him. Now he's out of date. Uh, has been. Oh, Elaine, let's face it. He'd be worth more to us if we just melted him down. Vance! He's all right. You say what you want to. I have no feelings. Vance! <laughs> Please talk about this alone. Fine. Andy, go to your room. It's not a room. It's a closet. Why do you always call it a room when you know all this? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Then go to your closet. Just go, go. <clears throat> you know, he hit me yesterday. I did not. I just pushed him. Did you tell her you pulled my club? I don't have to. You'll tell her. Uh, that's right, Vance. He already told me. Now, do you think the two of you can get through one day without fighting? I don't think so. <laughs> I should have hit you. Oh, that's what it's like every day at the store. Oh, uh, by the way, that uh, lamp I brought home, don't read by it. Oh, you mean the one that burned off your left eyebrow? <laughs> oh, Vance, I know how you feel about Andy, but I wish you wouldn't be so hard on him all the time. Elaine, sometimes I think you care more about Andy than you do about me. Don't be silly. I'm not. You listen to him all the time. You take his side. 
Oh, I, I, I hear the two of you always whispering and giggling in the kitchen. Don't tell me you're jealous of Andy. Jealous? <laughs> me? Je oh, 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 now who's being silly, huh? Oh, Vance, this is ridiculous. Andy raised me. He brought me up. Why, he did everything for me that time my parents got stuck on the moon. <laughs> oh, I wish you could understand. Yeah, well, so do I. But where I come from, we didn't have an Andy. We did everything ourselves. And it wasn't until I got a job that my poor mother could even afford a Pete. <laughs> you never told me you had a Pete. Oh. You said the only thing you ever had was a Mickey. <laughs> <laughs> There's the door. I get it. That's my job. I heard the bell. I'm getting it. <laughs> See, Vance? He's really trying. Oh, sure he's trying. He knows he's just one step away from the Obliviator. Hello, Andy. Hello, Mr. Burke. Andy, Andy. I know you're not human, but you are a dead ringer for Nate Silverman. <laughs> Are you sure you're not Nate's boy? Come in, Mr. Burkett. <laughs> well, I answered the door, and now I'm going to make the beds. Making the beds, Van. <laughs> Terrific. And I'm also going to fluff in the pillowcase and iron the bedspread. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Vance, is it true, Vance? They told me downstairs a cryogenic held you up. I'm afraid so. But don't worry, they caught him. This is terrible. When one of us does things like that, we all get blamed. Are those kids still writing those awful things on your door? <laughs> I was called worse names when I was alive. I mean, uh, before they, um, <laughs> when they, I, well, you know what I mean. <laughs> well, it's a shame what you cryos have to, <laughs> I mean, cryogenics have to go through. And to think you've only been defrosted two weeks. It's just awful. <laughs> Andy, why don't we all have a drink before we go shopping? <laughs> Andy, darling, you're, you're walking backwards. Oh, really? Oh, you're right. <laughs> Would you please fix us some Vita Cool? All right. <laughs> yes. You know... Your place makes me feel so much at home, you know? <laughs> My Jenny, she did our whole house over, looked almost like this, you know, just six months before um, the Iceman cometh. <laughs> what happened to your wife? Was she frozen too? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, she was frozen. I looked it up in the Hall of Records, yeah. She's still frozen. <laughs> Laid out there like a big popsicle. <laughs> Uh, Jenny, Jenny, Jenny. You miss her, huh? My dear, I only have one fear in the whole world. That they'll find a cure for Jenny and bring her back. I still think it was easier living in your time. But I died in my time. Oh, but Andy, that looks beautiful. Thank you. I do have one, too. And... <laughs> Will there be anything else? Yeah, yeah, start packing. That's it. We're selling it. Oh, Vance, he was just going to put... Not going, Elaine. He's gone. Gone. Don't, don't worry about me, Elaine. It's all right. I'll go. It don't bother me a bit. <laughs> Mr. Burkis. You know, I'm dead from next door. Yes, I know. Why don't you come in? Thank you. Yeah, wh wh where's Andy? They didn't sell him yet, did they? No, no, not yet. 
If you ask me, they'll have to give him away. Uh. I'm Earl. I'm here to assist with dinner, and I belong to Elaine's parents. Oh, so you're like Andy, huh? <laughs> oh, please, get serious. <laughs> Nobody is like Andy. I'm fully automated, platinum connectors, self-energizer, lifetime seals. Does that sound like Andy? <laughs> well, I don't Does know. it? No, sir. <laughs> What are they doing? Are they all right? That's just an electronic harmonizer. It soothes, pacifies, resolves conflict. I think they're done. I love you. I love you. Feeling better? Mm, much better. Good. I knew you'd change your mind about selling Andy. I haven't changed my mind about selling Andy. But we just finished harmonizing. So? I always told you this thing wasn't worth beans. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, Mr. Burkis. Hello, Vance. <laughs> I'm a little early. But don't worry, I stepped in as host. I hate him. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Mr. Burkus. Last year's model. In just a little while. Oh, Earl, why don't you show Mr. Burkus into the leisure room? It's just about time for Lucy. Lucy? They're still rerunning Lucy? <laughs> they never stopped. <laughs> She's quite popular with you dead people. Hey, don't about it. I get it. What doorbell? That was ten minutes ago, Speedy. I think his coils are corroding. Oh, well, this is pointless. Mr. Burke, shall we go to the leisure room? Do you mind, Andrew? Oh, after you, Earl. Well, at least he knows his manners. I, I make a big mistake. <laughs> you know, Elaine, sometimes I kind of like Andy. Do you think that the no, 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 no. I don't like him that much. <laughs> you know, that stain will never come out. Does he always eat like this? How would you like your connecting rods pulled? How would you like your hair pulled? <laughs> you know, I, I, I can't believe it. I really ate a tree. Filet of pine. Processed, of course. Tastes just like steak and is a lot cheaper. <laughs> now I know I'm in the future, you know? Eating wood, drinking rubber. <laughs> and that bush. Oh. <laughs> Still burning a little bit, but... <laughs> I must say, Earl is a terrific cook. Well, he should be for what your folks paid for him. A million and a half dollars for that snot. <laughs> uh, what's going on in there? Hey, no problem, no problem. <laughs> Andy, what was that all about? Uh, nothing. Uh, you know, the window was stuck, so I just lift up Earl to fix it. Uh, Earl shouldn't need any help. <laughs> For a mill and a half, he should be able to do anything. I bet he can't fly. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. <laughs> Earl, get the door, please. Yes, sir. <laughs> what happened to you? You look terrible. Well, I'm not surprised. I just fell 12 stories. He pushed me. I did not. He did, too. I did not. He did, too. I did not. Well, this is fruitless. Excuse me while I go scan myself for damage. This is going to cost you big bucks. I'm going to go back into the kitchen and uh, I will finish the dishes. I'm finishing the dishes, Vance. 
Elaine, I can't stand Earl. I hate him more than Andy, but... Please, no, 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 this time Andy has gone too far. Who's going to go out the window next, huh? You're right. All right. Sell him. <laughs> Works pretty good. <laughs> How much you want for him? Oh, oh, believe me, we can make a deal. <laughs> well, his body seems to be in pretty good shape. <laughs> Thank you. So does yours. <laughs> We, uh, uh, we put that sense of humor on him five years ago. No kidding. <laughs> I like to. <laughs> Let's hear it. Andy, do it. Si bole que se vale que se vele calla voy, se mandó y vele que se maneca. Y pitón de pise, cude vele que. Y más andaba boom, boom, boom. Ella maña, oye, ve. You can always take off that sense of humor. Now, he has an extra power pack. Oh, sorry. I thought you'd gone. Oh, Mrs. Kiefer, how is he at housework? Oh, he... Average. Fair. I don't do windows. <laughs> Andy, he, he's such a kidder. <laughs> he, he, he's great. He does floors, walls, he paints. Okay, okay, look, do you mind if I talk to my wife for a minute? Oh, go right ahead. I'd like to talk to my wife, too. Elaine, don't kill it. Well, if we're going to sell him, I at least want him to have a good home. He wants to take him to his factory, and those other people had seven children. Oh, he'll break down, I know it. Elaine, he's breaking down here with no children. Oh, excuse me. Um, I feel kind of silly for asking this, but is he a good dancer? <laughs> you see, I'm taking this class in old-time ballroom dancing, and Ed just hates it, and I just thought... Maybe. He's light as a feather. <laughs> Try him. One dance can't make me. <laughs> I don't want to. The game. I don't want to. No, no. No, no. Oh, not bad. No. Not bad. Yeah, Does he dance? What's this? Yeah. No, no. <laughs> you have him for uh, 26. We'll give you a call. Oh, you could call us. I'm in the book. <laughs> oh, come here. He's been pulling these stunts with everyone. Now, get this straight, Andy. You've got to go, and you're going. That's it. All right. If you two want to get rid of me, after all I have been to you, oh. after all I have done, oh. <laughs> racing you, playing with you, Remember Elaine, the pony ride, baking cookies on rainy day? Oh, Andy, please stop. Bad enough when my mother does this. Get out, Andy. All right, but if you want me, Vance, I will be washing your socks. <laughs> We've decided to take you, Andy. Well, well who was there? No one. No one, Vance. I thought you'd be down here. Oh, goodbye, Vats. In a minute, you won't have me to kick around anymore. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 what are you doing? 
If I cannot live here, I don't want to live anywhere. Oh, oh. Oh, well, go ahead. Blow your circuits. Burn yourself out. You'll only be breaking Elaine's heart. Well, what about my heart? You, you're selling me into someone else. You're breaking my heart. You don't have a heart. Oh. <laughs> but if I... If I had one, it would be broken. And you would not fix it either. You never fix anything with me because you don't like me. You never did. That's not true. Well, you, you're always yelling at me. Well, I have to. Because you're always breaking down, messing me up. Like giving the robber that money. I, wa I wasn't broken. I did not want you to get hurt. That's why I gave him the money. You... <laughs> You did it to help me? Yes. You, you really mean that, Andy? You, you really cared what would happen to me? Yes, I cared. Well, I wish I could believe that. Why can't you? But you're always talking behind my back, tattling on me to Elaine. But I do that with everyone. It doesn't mean I don't like you. Um, it's still hard to believe you. Well, believe me. <laughs> I, I mean, I mean, do you really, really like me? The, the way you like Elaine? Well, oh, I, I don't think I would say that much. <laughs> I like you. Oh, well, <laughs> you're honest. <laughs> I, I can say that much for you. Well, at least there's something you like about me. <laughs> oh, dear. No, no, Andy. No, no, no. No, no, take it off. What? Well, take it off. You're, you mean I can stay? <laughs> yeah. Oh, honey, that's wonderful. How long have you been there? Long enough. Did you hear that, Andy? <laughs> We're all together again. Uh, oh, boy. Is it better to be sick, Ellie, but I can't.